This is one of the hardest questions I get, and the answer is, as tough as the disease itself. People ask me, Dr. James, what happens if you don't treat pancreatic cancer? How long does someone have? And I know that behind that question is a deep well of fear, of uncertainty, and a desperate search for answers. I know this is terrifying to hear, but my job is not to sugarcoat the truth. My job is to give you the facts, so we can face this enemy with our eyes wide open. The clock starts ticking fast the moment pancreatic cancer is diagnosed, especially if it's advanced and left untreated. The reality is stark, and it s a reality we must confront hidden if we are to have any hope of changing it. The numbers are not just statistics, they represent mothers, fathers, sons, and daughters. They represent precious time. Understanding this timeline isn't about surrendering to despair. It's about understanding the urgency of the fight we are in. It's about recognizing why every single day matters, why every piece of information is critical, and why we can never, ever afford to wait. This isn't just a medical discussion, it's a human one, touching the very core of our hopes and fears when faced with a diagnosis this severe. For someone with advanced metastatic pancreatic cancer who receives no treatment, the median survival time is shockingly short. We are often talking about just three to six months. Let me be clear about what median survival means, because it's a term you'll hear a lot, and it can be confusing. It doesn't mean everyone lives for exactly that long. It means that if you take 100 people in this exact situation, 50 of them will have passed away before this 3 to 6 month mark, and the other 50 will live longer than that. It's the statistical midpoint. For some, the decline can be heartbreakingly rapid, measured in weeks. For others, they might see a few more months. But the undeniable, brutal fact is that untreated pancreatic cancer is a runaway train. It does not slow down on its own. It does not go into remission by itself. It is relentless in its progression, and the window of opportunity to intervene is incredibly narrow. This is a truth that hits like a physical blow, and it's why the shock of the diagnosis is so profound. It's a race against time from day one, and without intervention, it's a race that the disease almost always wins far too quickly. The speed at which it can overwhelm the body is one of the most cruel aspects of this illness, leaving families reeling and struggling to comprehend the sheer velocity of the decline. So, why is it so aggressive? Why does it move with such devastating speed? It comes down to a few core reasons. First, pancreatic cancer is a master of disguise. It grows silently, deep within the abdomen, often for months or even years, without causing any noticeable symptoms. The pancreas is tucked away behind the stomach, so a tumor can grow quite large before it starts pushing on other organs or nerves. By the time symptoms do appear, things like jaundice, unexplained weight loss, back pain, or a new onset of diabetes, the cancer has often had a significant head start. It's already an established, formidable force. Second, this is a cancer that loves to travel. It has a high propensity for metastasis which means it spreads to other parts of the body very early in its development. The most common sites are the liver and the lungs, but it can also spread to the lining of the abdomen, called the peritoneum. Once the cancer has escaped the pancreas and set up camp in these vital organs, it becomes exponentially more difficult to control. Each new tumor site is another front in a war that is already overwhelming the body's resources. The cancer cells are incredibly resilient and adept at evading the body's immune system allowing them to multiply and spread with frightening efficiency. This combination of silent growth and early metastasis is what makes pancreatic cancer a true silent killer. Now, it's important to understand that even within this grim timeline, there are factors that can influence how long a person might have. This isn't a one-size-fits-all disease. The tumor's specific location within the pancreas is a major factor. A tumor in the head of the pancreas often causes jaundice earlier because it can block the bile duct. While this is a serious symptom, it can sometimes lead to an earlier diagnosis compared to tumors in the body or tail of the pancreas, which can grow much larger without causing such obvious signs. The patient's overall health and age at the time of diagnosis also play a significant role. A younger, healthier person might have more physiological reserve to withstand the cancerous assault for a longer period than an older individual with other coexisting health problems like heart disease or diabetes. Furthermore, even without chemotherapy, some palliative procedures can make a difference in a patient's quality of life and, sometimes, their survival timeline. For example, 
If a tumor is blocking the bile duct and causing severe jaundice, doctors can place a small tube, called a stent, to open the duct. This procedure doesn't treat the cancer, but it can relieve the symptoms, improve liver function, and make the patient feel significantly better, which can, in turn, have a positive, albeit temporary, impact on their overall condition. These factors create a spectrum of outcomes, but they don't change the fundamental trajectory of the untreated disease. Here is the most critical point I want to make today. The difference treatment makes is night and day. It is the single most important factor in changing this devastating timeline. Let's contrast the bleak picture of untreated disease with what can be achieved with modern oncological care. When a patient, even with advanced pancreatic cancer, begins treatment with chemotherapy and sometimes radiation, that median survival of three to six months can often be doubled or even tripled. We see patients living for a year, sometimes longer, with a much better quality of life than they would have had otherwise. Let me be very clear, for most patients with advanced disease, this is not a cure, but it is time, it is precious, meaningful time. It's time to see a child graduate, to celebrate another anniversary, to be with family during the holidays, to say the things that need to be said. Chemotherapy works by attacking the rapidly dividing cancer cells, slowing down their growth and spread. Newer combination therapies are more effective than ever before, and targeted therapies and immunotherapy are offering new hope for a subset of patients whose tumors have specific genetic markers. Treatment buys time, it manages symptoms, it improves quality of life, and it gives the patient a fighting chance. To choose not to treat is to accept the disease's timeline. To choose treatment is to fight to create your own. This is why we are here. This is why we fight so hard. The grim reality of untreated pancreatic cancer isn't a message of despair, it's a call to arms. It's a powerful, urgent reminder of why we must pour everything we have into this fight. This is why we advocate relentlessly for more research funding. This is why we push for clinical trials that test new and innovative drugs. This is why we fight so hard for early detection and better treatments here at Pancreatic Cancer Warriors. The answer to that terrifying question, how long? should not be a few months. The answer should be years. The answer should be a lifetime. We are not there yet, but every single day, we get a step closer because of the research, the advocacy, and the incredible courage of patients and families who refuse to give up. The message today is not to surrender to the statistics. The message is to fight like hell with every tool available. It's to seek out the best possible care, to ask about clinical trials, to get a second opinion, and to arm yourself with information and hope. Because in this fight against time, every second is a victory. This is our mission. This is our promise. We will not stop fighting until pancreatic cancer is no longer a death sentence, but a manageable disease. And we will be with you every step of the way.